starting with the idea of replacing fossil fuels uh, is cars. And this is because cars are really the most personal um, and major choice that most consumers make. Um, this is currently we have cars mostly based, gasol gasoline based for the fuel. And this is worldwide. Uh, and electric cars are becoming quite popular, but we will go into all the different types of cars. And um, starting with the gasoline, uh, which is a hydrocarbon. So when you go to pump gasoline, there's an octane rating. And octane, you should recognize, is an alkane. So that's one of the hydrocarbons, eight carbons, and a lot of bonds in there. And breaking those bonds is the combustion reaction that drives conversion of chemical energy to mechanical energy that moves the car. Process the gasoline engine gets hot, and this is also going to generate radiant energy as heat. So because of gasoline being a fossil fuel and car having carbon emissions and air pollutants, as well as running out of oil, uh, the peak oil situation, we need a quick replacement pretty soon within the next 50 years, a replacement for all this gasoline that are used in cars worldwide. As concerns grow about the cost and availability of gasoline and about the pollutants that gasoline powered cars emit, car companies have brought in new options in the last 20 years or so. The uh, fuel is the main variable. So this is a hybrid electric vehicle, HEV, and these are called hybrid cars. And the reason why they're called hybrid is that there are two engines. So it uses a gasoline engine. That's the standard combustion engine and also a battery. So that's the hybrid having two engines. And this uh, earliest was a Honda Insight around 2000 was the first generation in the U.S. There's also this is a Toyota Prius. But the um, interesting thing about this hybrid has nothing at all to do with the uh, fuel source, but this regenerative braking. So regenerative braking converts the energy of motion, okay, so the wheels move, converts the energy of motion to chemical energy that's then stored into a battery. And so the battery is charged in this way. This battery of a hybrid uh, car does not get plugged in. And so the result was about 50 miles per gallon, which is um, anywhere from... 20% to 50% better than the cars that were on the market back in the 2000s. About 10 years after hybrids, these plug-in hybrid electric vehicles were rolled out. Now these still have the regenerative braking system, which captures the energy of motion, the mechanical energy, and stores it in the battery as chemical energy that can be then used by the car. So uh, for the plug-in, there is the electricity. So this is a car that's plugged in and this uses electrical energy that is then stored in the battery. So this converts electrical energy into chemical energy and stores that in the battery, as well as getting energy from uh, the regenerative braking mechanical energy into the chemical energy in the battery. And there's usually a small amount of gasoline so not as much gasoline, the major source is electricity, but there's still uh, some gasoline as a backup. The result was a lot less gasoline used, uh, the, about 50 to 100 miles per gallon, because this uses electricity mostly. Now there's a question about where does the electricity come from, because if you're plugging in and your electricity source is a coal-fired power plant, well then that's not as clean as it could be. But if you're plugging in and your electricity is coming from a solar panel, then that's great. Also introduced more recently within the last 15 years or so are electric vehicles. So these are only electricity. Uh, that's the only fuel in there. So this is electrical energy being converted to uh, into the battery. So this is stored portable energy in the car. So electrical energy is converted to chemical energy which is then used to generate uh, the, and the power to move the car, so back into electricity. So this is good because there's no gasoline at all, but, um, and this can get up to 300 miles per charge. Now there's a conversion uh, to how many miles per gallon, so that's actually 300 miles per gallon. And um, 
But this does depend again on the source of the electricity. Is the electricity uh, on the other end of this coming from a coal-fired power plant? Or is it coming from, say, a um, solar charger? So consumers have a lot of choice at this point. This was the 2016 model year. So there's electric vehicles, there's hybrid vehicles, there's plug-in hybrid vehicles, and that's all great. The United States, in fact, has the highest count of hybrid vehicles, hybrid electric, and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles on its roads, and yet these HEVs and PHEVs only represent about 3% of all cars on the road. In contrast, more than 20% of new car sales in Japan are these HEVs and PHEVs. So these again are not 100% green as there's still some gasoline used in the uh, hybrid cars and um, all of these as mentioned are dependent on that electricity source.